Preparations are underway to determine the extent of tritium contamination in the largest aquifer in South Jersey. Tainted water was released from the Oyster Creek nuclear power plant last year. The operators of the plant and state environmental officials have clashed over how to handle the problem. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has the story. The dialogue between the state DEP and Exelon over a tritium contaminated plume of water under the Oyster Creek nuclear power plant ratcheted up last week. In a May 14th letter, the company challenged the DEP's directive ordering new monitoring wells be installed and criticized the department's handling of the issue, saying the agency should correct any misimpression that the public is in danger. We've been working uh, with state and federal regulators closely to uh, assess, monitor, and uh, Remedi uh, taking remedial actions to uh, correct this situation. It's our responsibility, it's our obligation to the people uh, here in New Jersey and to our employees. Later on in the letter, Exelon challenged the state's authority, saying the DEP's directive was inconsistent with plant procedures, making it arbitrary and capricious and precluded by federal law. We didn't appreciate the tone of that letter, uh, and that's why we responded back uh, with our our clear statement that uh, we have been very straightforward with the information we've been given to the public and that we do have a right uh, in this state to protect the groundwater of the state. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission says that groundwater contamination is an area where there is an overlap of authority by federal and state officials. Exelon says the tritium plume is about 100 by 280 feet and has not moved off the Oyster Creek property. We've got it surrounded by 14 monitoring wells. We test those wells on a uh, uh, weekly basis. Those wells are all returning less than detectable results of tritium. Commissioner Martin says he's had discussions with Exelon since the letter, that the company is cooperating, and that by early next month, the DEP should have a plan in place to install monitoring wells to determine the flow of the groundwater. We will then meet with them uh, probably June 2nd or 3rd uh, with the team from Exelon at that point in time. We'll show them the, what the wells, uh, where we want those wells drilled, and we expect that the work to start immediately after that. The DEP wants Exelon to contain or treat the plume to protect the public. The NRC believes no technology exists to remove tritium from groundwater and that it takes about 140 years for the radioactivity to dissipate. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Trenton.